everybody. I got a story to tell you. I've had an eventful couple of days just now uh, on, a, on my way north. I want to tell you a story. So sit back, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to tell you a thing or two. My name is Kevin. I'm a solo driver for Creek Carrier, and you're watching The Joy of Trucking. So yesterday morning, real early, Tanya dropped me off at the terminal, uh, my home terminal in DeLand, Florida. <laughs> four states that I have not steered a truck through over the last couple of years and that's the two Dakotas Vermont and Maine and this load has taken me up to Maine so I'm gonna check that one off the list I should be there tomorrow morning uh, bright and early on time at a Walmart distribution center I gotta tell you yesterday I made it all the way from Florida up into Virginia and a few things happened along the way first of all I was I was stopped for a rest and I was checking the road ahead quite a ways and I noticed that the road was closed. I-95 was closed in North Carolina. So when I got closer I checked it again and it said there was there was debris, fall, uh, broken trees and stuff on the road and possibly a tornado. But by the time I got there late in the afternoon it was cleared but as I drove through I could see smashed trees and stuff lying all over the side of the road. We find out this morning that the, they did get hit by a tornado in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. I guess I dodged a bullet there because I got there. So I missed on that storm and uh, made it through there no problem. But I hope everybody in Rocky Mount is okay. It's a nice little town. I've been there a few times. And the other thing that uh, was kind of out of the ordinary, uh, a couple of uh, oversized haulers came came onto the road at, a, at an on-ramp and I, I let them in and I, I kind of got in between the two of them. They're pulling the two halves of a very large building. It had some kind of machinery mounted on the side and so on. And then the guy behind me passed me. So the two of them were, were off and running. They took up about a lane and a half with the width of the things. I noticed they had like six axles with single wheels on each side, not, not tandems or not, not dual wheels. And they were kind of in the middle of the, the trailer setup. And these guys were just stretching out way in front of me. So they had to be doing better than 70 because I was on, on cruise just giving it all I had and they were getting getting way far ahead of me. It's kind of weird, you know, they had one escort car. You could hear them on the CB, you know, this guy's coming up on your left and we're passing this guy and all that stuff. Uh, but they were going pretty fast and they took up a lot of road, you know. After about 20 minutes or so, this, this road gator is flopping around on the, on the pavement and I see a puff of smoke and I could smell something. And about five minutes later, I caught up to them and I passed them. And sure enough, one of the tires under the trailer had blown on like the third axle back or something. I, I called the guy on the CB and told him about it. He said, yeah, we're pulling over at this rest stop coming up here. So I was, I was wondering how, how long it would last <laughs> driving that speed with a load like that, you know? Not very long. Anyway, uh, yeah, a couple, of, a couple of crazy things there yesterday. Today, well, so I made it all the way to Virginia. I stayed at a rest stop there, had a nice peaceful night, got a real early start this morning. I'm trying to make up some time because I got an early delivery on this load tomorrow morning. So I need to start early each day, you know. This morning, continued up I-95, got around Richmond, got past Washington, D.C., got past Baltimore, waved at Philly, I uh, had a fuel stop in, in New Jersey and then over the George Washington Bridge into Manhattan on through Queens and then out of New York just, just after uh, Rye, New York into Connecticut. Rye, New York, the home of Remo Williams and Dr. Harold Smith. Uh, anybody recognize those names, put your comments down below. And then Connecticut was, was all jammed up, took me like an hour and a half to make like 50 miles. Uh, the George Washington Bridge, just a just a total total stress fest, totally jammed up, locked up, terrible stuff. 
just got into Manhattan and the company uh, navigation system here, the co-pilot told me to make a left turn onto a side street for some reason. And I'm, I'm on the freeway. I'm, I, there's like walls on either side and everything. I'm, what the hell street? What are you talking about? I couldn't really pull up my phone and check or anything. I was in traffic and I couldn't see the street until I looked up and there was a bridge. There was an overpass above me perpendicular to the interstate. So I guess I was supposed to lift the truck up and jump onto that street and head into town for some reason, but uh, I said, no thanks, co-pilot. I'll leave that for the next guy who's probably a little more muscular than me. On we go. Uh, uh, now I'm in Connecticut at a rest stop. It's kind of nice to be out of that southern heat. It's 97 degrees down in the land right now at 5 in the evening. Only a, a mild 82 up here in Connecticut, so that's good. I would like to also add that New Jersey was no fun today. You know, Tanya, Tanya tells me, uh, I shouldn't say I don't like the state of New Jersey, but I have to be honest, I, I don't think I've had very many good experiences there and plenty of bad ones. We, we went there one time in the, in the motorhome and camped out. Uh, first of all, a, a guy yelled at me to, to not pump my gas. The people in New, uh, New Jersey don't know how to pump gas, so they have to have somebody do it for them, and they get mad if you try to do it. We went for a hike in the woods there at that campsite and came back covered in ticks. Today's Follies, I notice a lot of people like to drive in the middle of three lanes and do less, like five miles less than the speed limit so that nobody can get around them or pass them. You gotta sit there behind them. I went to a Love's to get my fuel in New Jersey and pretty much did my 30, my 30 minute rest break in the middle of the day just trying to get to the pumps because everybody else was doing their 30 in the pumps. So, uh, I got my 30 in anyway, make good use of the time, waiting to fill up. And one other thing happened in New Jersey today. I ran over a big mother of a road gator, knocked some of the, some of the plastic bumper out of, out of place there. I was able to pop it back, but it's a little scarred looking now on my brand new truck. So <laughs> souvenirs from New Jersey. Thanks, New Jersey. Very, very stressful day with all that, all that traffic and traffic jams and the drivers zipping in and out, making fast lane changes and cutting in front of you so they can get to an exit ramp real fast. And yeah, good times. Up early tomorrow morning, gonna make this delivery before 10 a.m. up in Maine. And I'm only in Connecticut right now, so I still got 250 miles to go. I gotta head out and get a little exercise and turn in early. We'll catch up on the rest of the trip a little later. So don't forget, give me a thumbs up Put some comments down below. Hit that subscribe button and tinkle the notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. I'll see you down the road.